Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey of love. And um, I am going to pull again from the Good Tarot. It's been my firm favourite recently. So the green, green is all about healing, and we're opening that door to more and more and more and more healing all the time. We open the doors to new opportunities, new people, new experiences. And all of that is about heart expansion. Heart expansion, that is the doorway to the new way of living. So the new vibration on this beautiful planet that is being birthed through each and every one of you. And look at that, the seven of fire. And again, what a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card. It's the unicorn. So seven of fire that is the energy for today and the message of the seven of fire is this the personal best giving the going the distance perseverance and non-conformity <laughs> well that is definitely a twin flame relationship in a nutshell non-conformity it's there to go to the distance it is a hundred percent there to test your perseverance and um, and also making sure that you're always reaching for your best. And that is for the twin flame energy to take you forward into whatever is the life for your higher self, you know, and that's different for every single one of us. But the message is, I am unstoppable. My passion pushes obstacles aside as I engage in sustained effort. I know how to bend, but I don't compromise on what's most important to me. If others aren't happy with the course I am on, I don't have to let their concerns affect me. I release the temptation to resist challenges, and I trust that I can make things happen as I live life on my own terms. Inspired solutions present themselves. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, because... Um, like <laughs> that's just so funny to basically just saying you know don't it's just the message is stay in your own lane doesn't matter what anyone else is doing just keep going forward and trust that the universe has your back to help you through um certain obstacles if you feel like you're facing them and um the reason why i just think that is so funny is that probably for lots of us you know who are on this twin flame journey then a lot of our social groups, friends, <laughs> are not in the same situation. And um, so I was just out for dinner last night with a couple of friends and um, both are in relationships and, you know, kids and and just, just completely different life, basically. And, um, and you just, and, and, you know, and having corporate jobs and, you know, and yeah, I just, I just thought it's just so different, you know, it's just so different because sort of walking, it's almost like being in a parallel universe. Um, it's just bizarre, but because uh, these are people that I used to work with um, when I used to work in a corporate job and um what was really, and that's so funny, there's just someone else messaged me from my old job. That's nuts. Um, but anyway, so the reason um, why um, I say that is just that, because it's just like that, it's like persevering for, striving for your highest expression on this planet, right? And that is unique to every single one of us. And how we do that is just ask, every single day, please guide me. Please take me where I need to be to live my highest and best truth. Please guide me, please bring me the people, the experiences, the challenges, everything that will ri raise me up. And that um, was on page 55. So I'm gonna read letter 55. And fives are all about change and we're constantly changing, we're constantly transforming. So this is the message of letter 55 it is, I believe in you. I've always believed in you. It's just me that I was struggling with. I didn't trust myself to not mess your life up. And I wanted so much for you to do well, to be happy, to feel good. I wanted the glint in your eye to sparkle with happiness. 
and I was really, really scared that I would bring you down. It's because I loved you and I love you so much. I want what's best for you or I wanted what's best for you at the time. I knew that if we were going to be together, then my whole world would have to change. My whole life would have to be different. I would have to be different. So you have to know, I know this. I'm working on me so I can come back to you. Right, well, so many things about that because as I've shared before, like my twin, like right at the beginning said, I can't be with you because you're too good. You're like a wife and kids and stuff. And I was just thinking, that's just nuts. You've just said that you can't be with me. And then, and then, and now we've both gone on this journey and we're almost like our lives are pretty unrecognizable to what they were before. And uh, yeah, I can see, you know, the benefit of hindsight is always so sweet. If only there's a fast forward button that we could jump to the to to that in the future and then we can go, oh, OK, well, it's all right. This is what's going to be happening in the end. Um, but, you know, that's the, the benefit of being able to look back and being able to piece it together and go, OK, no, I know. I know this is OK. So the message is for today, persevere. You know, you've got it. Uh, every single day ask to be put on your highest path and trust and trust and trust the journey along the way. So there we go. That's the message for today. As always, I will be back tomorrow with another message. I really hope everyone's doing all right out there. If you would like to have a healing, a reading, a channeling, or to get any of my books, please do. All details are in the link. Okay, take care. Bye.